Hi students, good day, good day, good day. So for today's class, we're going to be doing a second round of examples using equivalent ratio. So in these examples, we are going to be looking at some worded problems. And we're going to solve word problems that involve equivalent ratios. All right, we're presented with the first problem here. All right, so the ratio of coins to notes in a bag, and notes mean paper money, all right? So the ratio of coins to notes in a paper bag is three to eight. If there are 24 coins, how many notes are there? So coins to notes. So that means that the first number in the ratio would represent the coin and the second number in the ratio would represent the notes because it says in, in the ratio three to eight, right? So three represents the coins and eight represents the notes. Now the question further went on to say if there are 24 coins, how many notes are there? So we know the value for coins, that's 24, but we do not know the value for the notes. We don't know the number of notes that are there. So how are we going to do that? First step, let us express each ratio as a fraction, all right? So we know 3 over 24 would represent the coins and 8 over x would represent the nose. And we use x to represent our unknown, the value that we do not know. All right. Then the next step is to cross multiply. So the top number in one ratio multiplies the bottom number in the other ratio, all right? And we do the same thing for the right-hand side. The top of one multiplies the bottom of the other, all right? So we have three times x, and we write back our equal sign. So three times x is equal to eight times 24. All right, I hope you guys are seeing that. Then the next step is to simplify. So here we have um, 192, because eight times 24 gives us 192. And we want to get X by itself. So we divided both sides by three. And so dividing both sides by three gives us X on the left-hand side and 64 on the right-hand side of the equal sign. That means that there are 64 notes in the bag, right? And it has to be because look on the problem. The notes are the paper money the part is bigger, right? It has eight parts versus the coin, which only has three parts. So that means that the number of notes in the bag has to be more than the number of coins. So therefore, the ratio of coins to notes, if we were going to write the exact values, would be 24 to 64. It's just that we reduce the fraction, the, the ratios, we simplified it to the smallest term. If you have not watched the video on simplifying fractions, I suggest that you go back and watch it. All right? Let us do a second example. The ratio of marbles to stone in a large pot is 6 to 10. If there are 42 marbles, 
how many stones are there? So, of course, we're going to be writing our ratios. So, we're going to write the marble and the stone. What number in the ratio represents the marbles? Which one represents the ratio for the marble? Six, because it says the ratio of marbles to stone, marble was first, is six to ten. So obviously, the first number would represent, the first number in the ratio would represent the marbles. And the second number in the ratio would represent the stone. Now it's saying if there are 42 marbles, how many stones are there? So there are 42 marbles. And we don't know how many stones. So we're going to use equivalent ratios to find the number of stones. So we're going to write each ratio as a fraction. All right. So the ratio 6 to 4. To 42 is the same thing as writing 10 to W. All right? And we just represent it as a fraction so that it is aesthetically appealing. Look on the previous previous video I did on um, finding equivalent ratios. I explained in detail why I wrote it as a fraction. All right? Then we cross multiply. Top multiplies bottom. Top multiplies bottom. And then we are going to simplify. 6W is equal to 420. And then we're going to divide both sides by 6 because we need to get the variable by itself. All right, so we divide both sides by 6. Remember, the fraction bar also means divide. And when we do that, we get. 70. Obviously, because when we divide 6 by 6 here, it will leave us with 1. And 1w one is the same thing as saying just w. All right? And that is it. That's our final answer. It's as simple as that. It means, therefore, that there are 70 stones in the bag. And you can look at it intuitively. The number of stones, the ratio, is greater than the number of marbles. So obviously the overall answer, the total number of stones, has to be greater than the total number of marbles. Alright students, thanks for joining me for another lesson and all the best.